So, today's question is about letting go and surrender. You often speak about letting go and surrendering. What exactly do I let go of and what do I surrender? This is a very important question. So let me go down this list that I've made of what you let go of. We'll start there. You let go of all your judgments, value judgments, good, bad, right, wrong, light, dark, pleasant, not pleasant. Just let go of all of it. You let go of all your desires, all your goals, everything you think you want, everything you've been working towards. Just let it all go. You let go of your history, your past. That's a tough one sometimes, especially when, you know, you've been working on dealing with past issues, dealing with past traumas. And it's quite an investment dealing with all of that stuff. It's a lot of work. But to experience the true self, to experience the transcendent self, enlightenment, you have to be willing to let all of that go. You can always come back to it later, but for now, for doing this, you have to let it, let it all go. There's nothing to deal with right this moment. You need to let go of all your needs. Everything you think you need, just let it go. Doesn't matter. When you're about to surrender, when you're letting go, you let go of everything you think you need. Nothing matters. You let go of all your possessions, physical possessions, things. You let go of emotional possessions. And you let go of conceptual possessions like, this is mine, that's yours, that's mine. All of those things. My, my, my. All of that. You let it all go. You let go of your fears. I know that's easier said than done. But that's part of this process. You let go of your concerns. What are you worried about? What are you concerned about for the future, for the past, for now? You just let it go. You let go of all tension. Tension in your mind, tension in your body. Again, I understand that this is a lot easier said than done. It takes practice. It takes meditation. It takes mindfulness. But you can do it. You let go of all your beliefs. Everything you believe, from superficial beliefs to deep core beliefs about how life works, what's true and what's not true, you let go of all of those beliefs. You let go of all your intellectual understanding. Everything you think you know, you let it go. Until you can honestly say to yourself, I know nothing. I'm a blank slate. You let go of all your knowledge. It's similar. Everything you think you know, all the knowledge you have accumulated, you just let it go. Again, you become a blank slate. You let go of all your personality traits. I'm this, I'm that. None of it matters. When you be the true self, the true self has its own traits. Personality traits may or may not change in the human you. But when doing this sort of meditation, when doing this sort of letting go and surrender, you let go of all those personality traits. Again, a blank slate. You let go of all seeking, all struggling, What a relief that would be, wouldn't it? You could just let go of all that struggle, striving, frustration. Just poof. 
Again, it takes work. It doesn't happen overnight. But it, you can do it. You let go of your personal identity. Saying, this is who I am. These are my attributes. It's good to know all of those things. That's part of self-awareness. But then you have to transcend them. And that's part of letting go. You let go of your uniqueness. You no longer identify as a unique personality, a unique human being. Again, being nothing. Easier said than done, but that's the part of the process. By doing that, you end up letting go of separateness. So letting go of separateness is essential. You are not separate. You are one with everything. And when you let go of separateness, then you can experience that. And most importantly, you let go of the me who is trying to let go. The me who is seeking enlightenment, who is seeking inner peace. The me who is trying to, um, trying to find that transcendent inner peace, that transcendent joy, that transcendent bliss. You let go of that one. You can work for years letting go of each of these attributes. I know I tried. I worked on it for years. Sometimes I'd, I'd work on, you know, okay, I'm not going to be judgmental this week. No judgments this week. Oh, I'd get so frustrated every time I'd make a judgment. And finally, I've, finally, after years of working on trying to be all these attributes, on trying to let go of all these different attributes, I finally just surrendered. And they all disappeared. And everything was fine. But it took me years. I hope it doesn't take you that long. Maybe that's why I'm making this video. So you don't have to make the same mistakes I did. You don't have to do, go through the same struggles and the frustrations and, and, the, and, the, and the crying and the screaming that I did. And what you do is you just end up surrendering all of it, completely, utterly letting it all go. So, what do you surrender? You surrender all sense of a me, of a unique personality. It's like dissolving. It's like everything that holds you together, everything that holds your body together, everything that holds your mind together, everything that holds your personality or your, your sense of um, personal spirit or individual spirit. It just dissolves. You let it all go. You take a deep breath and you surrender. And you let it all go. You just surrender. You can just think, you know what? I'm tired of all of this. I'm tired of struggling. I'm tired of searching. I'm try tired of striving. <sighs> I just surrender. Give up. At the same time you do this, you're just surrendering your physical identity, your body. You give up the idea that you are inside a body or that you are a body. You're far more than that. The only way you can experience that is absolute surrender, is dissolving into everything around you. Next, you surrender all control. You surrender physical control, intellectual control, emotional control, and spiritual control. Surrender control. That's an amazing experience. 
In some ways, it feels like dying. In some ways, it feels like absolute, total peace. We surrender not knowing what's going to happen. We surrender control, not knowing if, if things are going to, to, to continue to function. Will my body continue to function? Will I continue to breathe? If I let go of control, will, will my house go away? Will I lose everything? We don't know. When you're about to do this, it feels as if you would lose everything. I promise you won't. But it feels that way, and that's the risk. And finally, you surrender your life. You surrender the idea that life is yours, that life belongs to you. You surrender. Completely, totally, and utterly, you surrender. You surrender not knowing what's going to happen. It feels like a huge risk, like the greatest risk you could ever take in life. You can read a hundred books on spirituality, on, on enlightenment, on the works and teachings of different teachers and masters and experiences of those people. You can go to a hundred lectures and workshops. You can think you know everything about surrender, about spirituality, about enlightenment. But at the moment you finally unequivocally surrender, when you finally give up, when you finally dissolve into the infinite, into emptiness, into being, into the true self, into consciousness, into that infinite, immortal sea of consciousness. When you finally do that, it feels like a huge risk. The ego is going to cry out or be very subtle, but it's going to warn you. If you do this, you're going to lose everything. If you do this, you're going to die. You're going to go crazy. You'll have nothing. Everyone will leave you. You will be alone. You'll have nothing. And then it's up to you. Do you take that risk? Do you take the risk? It's up to you. I can tell you that everything will be fine. I can tell you that a hundred times. You could watch this video over and over and over until you feel confident. Okay, John's telling me the truth. He's done it. He does it every day. He's still fine. But when you're doing it, that's another, that's another story. When you're doing it, it can feel very scary. It can feel like you're going to lose everything. There is no other way. So, I have created a number of different guided meditations and exercises for experiencing letting go and surrender. There's a couple of um, uh, guided meditations. One's called Letting Go and one's called Surrender, actually, at the Light Unlimited Publishing website. There are a couple others there, guided meditations, that are good for letting go and surrender, like the Light Sphere. I've also created some um, newer guided meditations specifically for this absolute total surrender, this dissolution into everything. And those are only um, available at the lifesanswers.org website at the shop there because they're a bit more advanced. <clears throat> and I didn't want to make them so much commercially available because I want to be sure that if someone's going to use them, they're, they're, they understand a little bit about what is about to happen. So, and of course, I've printed, published lots of articles 
about this. So you're more than welcome to study and, and learn more about this at the websites. And then it's up to you to take that risk. Of course, you know, you're welcome to contact me through the website if you have any questions or need any support in this. I'm, I'm very happy to help in any way I can. So for now, from Kemmerie National Park, this, this very beautiful winter day here in the wetlands. This is actually kind of a swamp. And if you could smell, there's a kind of a, a sulfur-like smell here. Um, and of course, I've got my best friend, Billy. We're walking together. So I will look forward to um, speaking with you again soon. And for now, take good care. And bye for now.